Most of the universe is missing. Not a little bit, not a thin veil we haven't lifted yet. 80% of everything is something we cannot see. We call it dark matter, but that name hides the truth. It isn't dark, it isn't a shadow. It's invisible because it may not belong to our reality at all. It threads itself through galaxies like an unseen skeleton, shaping the stars, guiding the cosmic tides, and bending space with a silent hand. And yet, after a century of searching, we still have no idea what it is made of. No light, no heat, no collisions, nothing. Just gravity, reaching out from something we cannot touch. But what if that something isn't matter? What if it's an entire universe woven through our own? A hidden realm with its own stars, its own worlds, maybe even its own forms of life. A universe that shares our space, but not our light. A universe that watches us the way we watch the night sky. Present, vast, and unknowable, but forever out of reach. And what if we're their dark matter? Dark matter is not just invisible. Plenty of things in the universe are hard to detect. Neutrinos slip through a trillion miles of lead without slowing down. Black holes hide behind their own gravity. But dark matter is even stranger. It doesn't shine. It doesn't absorb. It doesn't scatter. It doesn't warm up. It doesn't cool down. And most importantly, it doesn't collide with anything we're made of. If you threw a brick at a cloud of dark matter, the brick would pass straight through, unaware that anything was there at all. And yet, dark matter pulls on galaxies with enormous gravitational force. It shapes the cosmic web. It sculpts the universe on the largest scales. It leaves fingerprints everywhere, except in the one place we expect matter to leave fingerprints, light. That is not normal behavior for any kind of matter we know. And that strangeness led physicists to an uncomfortable possibility. Maybe dark matter doesn't interact with our world because it isn't part of our world, not fully, not in the way we understand. Maybe it belongs to a hidden sector, a parallel realm made of particles and forces that simply do not talk to ours. Not magic, not fantasy, just a different rulebook. A part of the universe that's real, but silent. For most of the last century, scientists assumed dark matter was a simple particle, something small, something cold, something quiet. But the more we look, the more that simple idea starts to fall apart. Because if dark matter were just one silent particle, we should have found it by now. We've built giant detectors buried under mountains. We filled vast tanks with liquid xenon, waiting for a single dark matter collision. We've searched for decades, and nothing has turned up. That forced physicists to widen the search, to think bigger, to consider ideas they once ignored. And one idea kept returning. What if dark matter isn't a single particle at all, but an entire sector of particles, a hidden family of matter and forces running alongside ours, but never touching it? In physics, this is called a shadow sector. It's not speculative science fiction. It's a natural consequence of how quantum fields work. Our universe could easily contain multiple sets of particles, multiple forms of light, multiple forces, and they could be completely invisible to us, except for one handshake, gravity. In this view, dark matter could have its own interactions, its own version of electromagnetism, its own dark photons, even its own kind of chemistry. A universe within a universe, not mystical, not magical, 
just hidden by the architecture of physics itself. And if that is true, then dark matter might not be dark at all. Not to the beings who live inside it. If dark matter really is a hidden sector, then the next question is simple and enormous. What could a dark universe actually look like? We will never see its light, not with our eyes, not with our telescopes. Its version of light would pass straight through our detectors as if nothing were there. But that doesn't mean nothing exists. If dark matter has its own forces, its own particles, its own interactions, then it could build structures the way our universe does. It might form atoms, not made of protons and electrons, but of dark equivalents we've never discovered. Those atoms could join into dark molecules. Dark molecules could form clouds. Clouds could collapse into dark stars, stars burning in a kind of light we will never see. Those stars could gather into dark galaxies, orbiting in the same space as the galaxies we know ghostly spirals turning silently beside us. And if those dark stars live and die, if they seed their universe with the building blocks of complexity, then it's not impossible to imagine dark planets orbiting in the void, dark oceans, dark continents, dark weather systems driven by entirely different versions of energy and radiation, worlds that share our space but not our physics. And if complexity can arise there, if chemistry can unfold, even a different kind, then life is not out of the question. Not human life, not familiar life, something shaped by rules we've never touched, something that would move through us as effortlessly as we move through air. A civilization that could exist inches away, yet forever beyond our senses. We don't know if any of this is real, but if the dark universe has even a fraction of the complexity of ours, then the cosmos may be far more crowded than our eyes can ever reveal. If a dark universe could exist beside our own, then there is one more question we cannot avoid. Could anything living in that realm detect us? Because to them, we would be the invisible ones. Our atoms would be silent, our light would pass straight through their world, unseen. Our chemistry would mean nothing. We would be the ghosts. If a dark civilization looked out into the night, their sky would be full of their own stars, bright, familiar, comforting, and absolutely empty of ours. But gravity, gravity is different. Gravity does not care about sectors or forces or hidden realms. It bends space itself and space is something we all share. So if a dark civilization were advanced enough, they might notice strange gravitational distortions, ripples, anomalies, mass that pulls on their world but never reveals itself. To them, our galaxies might look like enormous structures made of some unresponsive silent material. They might map our Milky Way as nothing more than a ghostly gravitational shadow. They might even wonder whether something unseen is moving beside them, something that reacts only with gravity, something they cannot reach. To them, we would be the dark matter. And just as we puzzle over the nature of their realm, they might be puzzling over ours. Two civilizations separated not by distance, but by the architecture of physics. Maybe both of us asking the same question. What is this invisible mass tugging at our world? If two universes overlap but cannot share light, cannot share heat, cannot exchange particles, then almost every form of communication is impossible. Except one. Gravity. Gravity is the oldest and weakest force in our universe, but it has one strange and beautiful property. It passes through everything. It cannot be blocked. It cannot be shielded and it does not care whether the mass creating it belongs to our sector or another. That means if a dark civilization ever wanted to reach out, they would have only one tool available, and it is the same tool we would have. 
gravitational waves. When massive objects accelerate, they ripple the fabric of space-time itself. Black holes do it, neutron stars do it, but so could a civilization with the technology to move vast amounts of mass in precise patterns. To us, such a signal might look like an anomaly, a wave with no obvious source, no binary merger, no supernova, something rhythmic, patterned, deliberate. And from their perspective, we would be the ones sending strange gravitational pulses across the divide. We don't know if communication between sectors is possible. We don't know if gravitational waves can carry meaning between two realms that share only the geometry of space. But if there is a bridge between worlds, gravity is the only one we found. If two universes ever speak, they will speak through space-time itself. For decades, we've been told the same thing. If other civilizations exist, they are too far away, too distant, too scattered across a universe that expands faster than any ship we could ever build. The cosmic silence was supposed to be a matter of distance, a tragedy of scale. But what if the tragedy is stranger than that? What if other worlds aren't across the galaxy, but right here? Not separated by light years, but by the architecture of reality itself. What if the nearest civilization is not a speck in the darkness, but an entire realm folded through our own? Unreachable not because it is far away, but because it exists in a different state of being. A cruel cosmic irony. After all this time searching outward, the thing we could never imagine is that the universe might be crowded, layered, alive with minds we will never touch. A civilization could rise beside us, share our space, share our gravity, share the same vast cosmic ocean, and we would pass through each other like ghosts. We might never know their stories. They might never know ours. Two universes drifting together through eternity, close enough to touch in geometry, but forever separated by physics. And maybe that is the ultimate lesson hidden inside the dark universe, that reality is deeper than our senses, stranger than our theories, and far more connected than our brief lives allow us to see. In the end, the universe may be full of company. We just lack the senses to hear them. <laughs>